Seahawks today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us. And as always, you got to be a subscriber to the channel if you want to see the latest Seahawks news and rumors. Do so by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Seahawks TV. Turn on those notifications. Or you can hit that red sub button below so you can be the first to see what we have for you each and every day here on Seahawks Today. On today's show, the Seahawks quarterback situation still yet to be resolved, figure out of some sorts, and the rumors around Baker Mayfield coming to Seattle still continue. Here's where we're at right now in the Baker Mayfield situation as far as uh, if matters of him coming to Seattle. There was an NFC personnel executive that spoke anonymously to the folks at Fan Sighted in regards to the idea of bringing Baker Mayfield to Seattle. And here is what this executive had to say. There's no doubt that Baker Mayfield is Seattle's best option. He's only six. Tw- he's only 26 years old. He Is he a headstrong guy? Is he a prideful guy? Absolutely. Bigger than life. And that's all right. Pete Carroll can corral that in. That's what he is good at. Some... Details on the Baker Mayfield Brown situation as it's been over a week since he requested that trade and Deshaun Watson made his formal introduction to Cleveland. The situation as it stands right now, he's still owed less than $19 million next year, fully guaranteed. The Browns wanted a second round pick for Mayfield, but they're refusing to eat any of that $18 million owed to him. There are concerns about the torn labrum surgery that Mayfield had back in January. It's on his non-throwing shoulder, and we saw the way that he played down the stretch for the Browns was not great this past season. What comes to mind in particular, that Christmas Day game when he had four interceptions playing with that injury. So with where things stand right now, Should Baker Mayfield come to Seattle? Is that something that the 12th man wants? Well, we put a poll on our community page, and in order to place votes on the community poll, you have to be a subscriber. So if there's any more reason to subscribe to our channel, it's, if anything, just to be able to chime in and communicate with us. We asked you, and you guys were not in favor of bringing Baker Mayfield to Seattle one bit. The poll results... 26% of you say that Baker Mayfield should come to the Seahawks. 74% of you say no. So if you want to chime in on future polls like that, you got to be a subscriber to Seahawks today here on Chat Sports, youtube.com forward slash Seahawks TV. Pete Carroll was asked in a news conference this week at the NFL owners meetings about the situation and Pete Carroll said that they are still in the quarterback business, that they are still looking around, that it's not just Drew Locke and Jacob Eason, that they are doing their homework on trying to find another quarterback. And he has been very high on Geno Smith about possibly bringing him back, but they're still looking around. So with that being said, folks, time to pick a starting quarterback. Would you rather have Baker Mayfield? Would you rather have Drew Locke? Drew Locke, of course, already there. Baker Mayfield, a trade would have to happen in order to bring in Mayfield at this point. If you want Baker to be the guy, let us know in the comments. Type BM for Baker Mayfield. If you're all in on Drew Locke and want to see the Seahawks move forward with him, type DL in the comments to let your voice be heard. Are you Team Baker, Team Drew? Let us know here on Chat Sports. Here are the 2020 numbers, and the reason why we bring you these 2020 stat numbers between these two is it's the most fair comparison because Locke started most of that year, Baker Mayfield started most of that year, and quite frankly, it was the bo- the best year that either quarterback had statistically. And you look at the numbers, I mean, it's evident. Baker Mayfield had a lot better season than Drew Locke did in 2020. It wasn't even close. You look at the touchdown to interception ratio, 26 to 8 for Baker, 16 to 15 for Drew Locke. Are you kidding me? Of course. The obvious answer here, when you look at those numbers, both these guys were healthy those years as well. Baker Mayfield playing injured most of last year. To me, it's obvious. 
bring Baker Mayfield to Seattle. I know that we did the poll, and it may not necessarily be what some Seattle fans want, but when you see those numbers, when you hear from NFL executives that say, this is the move, it makes sense to bring Baker Mayfield to Seattle. I'm all in. Let's go ahead and see what he can do with this team and We know what he can do with the chip on his shoulder. We've seen it in the past at his time going from Texas Tech to Oklahoma and what he did to end up with a Heisman Trophy at OU to lead them to the college football playoff and then end up in his time uh, ending up as uh, the rookie of the year with all the doubters out there that said that uh, he wasn't tall enough and such. This might be the spark that Baker Mayfield needs is – coming to Seattle after being rejected by the Cleveland Browns. So there you have it. We'll see what the Seahawks do at this point as the rumors continue on the Baker Mayfield situation. The NFL draft is just around the corner, and look at these draft hats. Our friends at Fanatics are selling these things, and these are the same draft hats, folks, that some future Seahawks are going to be wearing on draft day. If you want the flat bill, the baseball cap, whatever it may be, now's your opportunity to get your hands on one of these things before the draft even gets here. You know how you get one of these? You go to chatsports.com forward slash Seahawks draft, and that's the easiest way. And there's all sorts of discounts and deals and and that you can get involved in, but the easiest way to do so, to get this hat or multiple hats. Maybe you have a whole family of Seahawks fans that want these hats for draft day. Whatever it may be, chatsports.com forward slash Seahawks draft to get one of these awesome hats. The NFL is changing up its overtime rules just for the postseason. And to recap the situation, basically, what is going to happen now is is that instead of if you score a touchdown on your first possession that the game is just over, both teams will be guaranteed a possession. And if it's still tied after each team has had a possession, then the game goes into sudden death. But that rule only applies to overtime. Pete Carroll was asked about it at the NFL meetings this week, and he's a fan. Here's what he had to say. I would like to see both teams have an equal shot. That's what I'm hoping for. It doesn't feel like that when you go downfield and score, we've been the beneficiary of that success over the years, it seems, as I remember it. But I still think there should be a balance there. Now, it is worth noting that the Seahawks were the beneficiaries of the current overtime structure. If you go back to 2014, uh, they – beat the Green Bay Packers to win the NFC title game. And when that occurred, uh, under these new overtime rules that were approved this week, uh, that comeback would not have happened the way that it did. So something to think about. The Seahawks, the current structure that is about to be in place, might not necessarily be to their advantage based on history. But I got to tell you, folks, the new overtime, it's better It's fair. Everyone comes to mind of that Chiefs-Bills playoff game of how terrific that was between Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. And Josh Allen, after having one hell of a day, didn't get a chance to answer the touchdown from Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And he ultimately went home from that. I think everybody watched that game and sat down and said Josh Allen deserved a chance. And so that's where I look at with this system is it would be an improvement, but it's still not perfect, as it doesn't apply to the regular season. You're hearing from the NFL argue that it's about player safety when it comes to why they won't adapt this to the regular season. The reality of it is this is the same league that just last year added a 17th game to the schedule. So don't sit here and tell me that – You're all about player safety of why you won't play an overtime period, but you'll add another game. What this is really about, why you won't do this in the regular season, is because you want to get to 60 minutes on CBS or Fox's animation domination and local news on time. That's what this is really about, but the NFL wants to tell you otherwise. So, what do you guys think? Do you like the new overtime rules? Tell us in the comments below. Type Y for yes. Type in for no. Personally, I'm a fan of the college overtime. 
that would be what I'd like to see the NFL go with. Don't see that happening anytime soon. But nonetheless, let us know in the comments below. Type Y for yes, in for no, and let us know what you think as far as that goes on the NFL overtime rules. couple free agency notes for you. The Cleveland Browns have taken away one of the Seahawks' uh, offensive linemen, that is uh, Ethan Posich, as he signed a one-year deal, played in 11 games last year, uh, just two sacks allowed. And uh, so he's gone now. The Seahawks weren't expecting to bring him back, though. There is a player that the Seahawks might be interested in bringing back that is available still right now, and that is Dwayne Brown. Dwayne Brown last season played in all 17 games. He did allow eight sacks last year, though, but he still remains an option at this point. And if you look at the Seahawks' depth chart, they certainly need a lot of help, uh, as you can see, with uh, that bunch there. But I would be surprised if the Seahawks aren't draft-focused when it comes to the offensive line. If you missed our video yesterday in our mock draft, we put a big emphasis on the Seahawks drafting on the offensive line in particular. So uh, whether they bring back Dwayne Brown, I would expect that there's going to be a couple of players that they draft to help out that offensive line there. Now, the cap situation for the Seahawks is an interesting one. This team essentially has $10 million in cap space. And when you look into the guys at like Sports Track that put out these cap numbers and such, they're going to tell you it's a little bit more, but that is $10 million because of how much you have to spend on your rookies in the draft. Realistically, what they have is about $10 million to spend. So not a whole lot left for this team to deal with. And whether it's a trade for Baker Mayfield or signing other free agents, the Seahawks just don't have a whole lot of flexibility as things stand right now. Now, as far as bringing back Dwayne Brown goes, what do you guys think? Would you like to see him come back for one more run in Seattle? Let us know. Type S for sign. Type P for pass if you think that Dwayne Brown should come back to the Seattle Seahawks. We'd love to hear from you there.